How you doing guys? I will reveal a simple, easy, free trick to figure out which muscle fiber type. All right guys, so different roads lead to Rome and different weight training techniques lead to better gains in hypertrophy. What are the different techniques we can use to make muscles grow? We have the muscle fiber fatigue, where we actually fatigue the muscle fiber as much as we can. So this means going to failure and even beyond. So if you have great recuperative abilities, you can go beyond using things like drop sets, force reps, negatives, slow negatives, or rest pause, where you recruit the maximum amount of muscle fibers to create the most fatigue in the muscle possible. Next, we've got the muscle damage technique where we use a weight that is about 70 to 85% of your one rep max. It's a decent amount of load, basically a, a weight that you can handle between five and maximum 10 reps. You wanna do slow eccentrics, keep the targeted muscle stretch under load, maybe aim for about four sets. This is a great technique that will make you gain some strength. Another weight training technique would be the mTOR activation, where you keep the muscle under constant tension, getting the mind in the muscle. Command you to grow. You must grow. I'm the boss, mother And really stretching at the bottom, stretch position for about two seconds, and keeping the muscle you know, under great tension. And while you're stretching it, you're squeezing the hell out of your muscles. So Another technique would be the growth factor technique or the lactate release technique where you're using a higher time under tension, which is between 40 and 70 seconds, keeping the muscle under constant tension and fighting off the burning. So going beyond the lactic acid burn and, and really, you know, concentrate on going until it like you can't no more. Different tricks to figure out what your fiber makeup is. Side note, the Russians back in the day used to take the biopsy of the quadricep of 10 year old kids and to figure out which type of muscle fiber they were more dominant in. If they would test the quadricep to be more fast twitch fiber, they would train that kid to be a power athlete or a fast athlete. So we were looking at a sprinter or a power lifter. If on the other hand, the fiber makeup would be more of a slow twitch type they would make that kid train more as an endurance athlete, making him a marathon runner or an Ironman athlete. I'm not asking you to go to your doctor to take a biopsy off your quadriceps to figure out what type of muscle fiber makeup you have, but here is a free trick you can do at the gym to figure it out yourself. Now, understand that you can have a, one muscle that is more fast twitch and another muscle that is more slow twitch. It's very independent muscle to muscle. If we take the example of a bench press, you can load up the bar and figure out what your one rep max is. So the one rep max is the maximum amount of weight you can handle for one repetition in good form. Once you figure out what your one rep max is, you would wait 15 minutes and you would load the bar with 80% of that one rep max. Now, the amount of reps you can do at 80% of your one rep max will help determine which muscle dominance you have in the pec muscle. If you could do about three reps or less with 80% of your one rep max on the bench press, you are more a fast twitch fiber in your pecs. But if you could do four to maybe 11 reps, you're in the intermediate phase or your half-half slow twitch and fast twitch. If you can do more than 12 reps with 80% of your one rep max on the bench press, you are a slow twitch guy. So you would be a hard gainer and you would have a harder time putting on muscle tissue. Now the fast twitch guys have the best potential for muscle growth and strength. These are the guys that grow at nothing. You probably saw some guys at the gym, they look at a weight and they get bigger. On the other hand, you have guys that do everything right and they just can't grow. Well, if their muscle fiber makeup is more slow twitch, they're gonna have a really, really hard time growing in the gym. So that's why there is a huge genetic factor to growing muscles. And me as a five foot six and a half guy, 
I would I do not have the genetics to play basketball and as much as I would love to I would not be able to play basketball at an elite level I can still play in the court but not professionally guys that are more slow twitch would never probably step on the Olympia stage they are not genetically gifted to do so does it make them a bad person they could still enjoy weight training but don't expect to do it competitively at a very high level so this is a little trick guys use it in the gym figure out what your dominant fiber is for each individual muscle comment down below show me the results and seize the day my friends